Today let's talk about automatic writing. If this interests you, stick around. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. And if you are returning and you're already part of our community, welcome back. You know I love you. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and how to apply it to your everyday life. I help you navigate your spiritual awakening. We talk about intentional living, all kinds of good stuff. So if this interests you, hit the subscribe button because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So let's talk about automatic writing. Is this something you've ever done? Have you ever tried it? Does it intimidate you? You've wanted to try it, but you're afraid to try it? What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments below. So I've done automatic writing a few times, and so I wouldn't say that I'm an expert on it, but I have done it with success. So let's talk about it. What is automatic writing, first of all? It's actually a form of channeling, and it's where you allow your hand, you have a piece of paper and a pen, and you allow spirit to send a message through your hand and write it out on the paper. First of all, you wanna get into a deep meditative state. You wanna be meditating, you wanna be really relaxed with an open mind, and then you want to have a piece of paper and a pen, and you want to just ask a question or give spirit permission to talk and see what comes through. Now, I've heard a couple of different ways that this happens for people. One way is that, um, like something actually moves their hand and writes for them. And the other way is that they can feel an energy there, um, but it doesn't actually move their hand. They really just get the message coming to them and they write out what's coming to them. Either way is valid. Um, the problem where myself and most people get into trouble is that you second guess what's happening and you get filled with doubt and things of, is this really happening? Am I really hearing this stuff? Am I making this up? Is this really just me? Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> That's just your ego trying to sabotage you. Um, don't do that to yourself. Just trust what you're getting. Trust what you're getting and write it down. Now here's the thing. Even if it is really you at first, I doubt that it is. But even if it is, so what? you are getting yourself into the habit of trusting what you're getting and letting it flow through you. And it's like a muscle. The more you use it, the easier it will get, the more accurate it will get. You're allowing yourself the space to be vulnerable, to make a mistake, the space to be vulnerable, to just trust whatever comes to you. And maybe at first, while you're still developing that channeling muscle, maybe at first that will be a mixture of your voice and spirit's voice. And that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Your job is to practice and allow what comes through to be put down on the page. So just trust it. If you've tried this, let me know if you have any tips. If you um, have wanted to try it and now maybe you think you will, let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe and like buttons because they help me so much. All right, you guys. I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you soon.